All right, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Entrepreneur Investor. And in today's video, we'll be explaining why I am buying Kony, Yield Max's coin based option income strategy ETF before the ex dividend date. And if you guys do follow them on Twitter, look, you could see here it says new distribution announcement for Tesla, OARC, Apple, Nvidia, Amazy, Facebook, Google, Netflix, and Kony, which is one of their new funds, coming on Thursday, September 7th. So if I buy Kony before September 7th, I will be receiving their first dividend ever, and that's why I'm doing it. I think I'm going to drop $1,000 into this fund, but we have a lot to go over this episode. There's so many, so much information that we're going to be jam-packed in this video. So if you guys do like these videos, please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll continue cranking out this content for you guys. Almost at 1,000 subscribers. That's absolutely incredible. We've done it in like a week. So thank you guys for all of that, but let's get into this video. All right, so like I said here, Yield Max announced you got to follow them on Twitter. There's a nice community getting built here. People are commenting. They only have about 2,000 followers, but they do provide great information. And let's go over what so some of the posts that they have here. Yield Max ETFs in a nutshell. So a bunch of you guys are commenting what how do these funds are making money? Synthetic covered calls, what is this? So basically, they're a very transparent company, and what they want to show you is how they're making this money. So you can see the portfolio components, the yield, ETF, yield max ETFs, and this is for all of their funds, basically what they're doing. So they got a short put plus a long call equals the long stock position, which would mean, say they had you know 10,000 shares of Coinbase, this is their synthetic version of that. If you do a short put plus a long call, that's a long stock position in, you know, in quotations. And then if they do a short call, which would be their income. And then they also have a lot of their holdings in treasuries, which equals the collateral for these components and additional income as well. Their treasuries are yielding about 4% or something like that. So it helps with their distributions as well. And you can see the results here is the covered call strategy, monthly income potential, short out of the money call allows for upside participation. So say Coinbase goes up about 5%, you'll be able to capture some of those gains as well. And all the app options are backed by the Options Clearing Corporation, which is nice to see. You know, they're doing everything legitly, which is great. They're using no leverage and no stock gets called away from them. So that's a nice little chart that they made for us to kind of show what's going on here but why am i buying coinbase before the x dividend date and i made a video recently on the new funds and i explained here that the beta is 2.72 which means and we have the definition here so what does the beta mean it's a concept that measures the expected move in a stock relative to the movement in the overall market so a beta greater than 1.0 means that the stock is more volatile than the you know broader stock market so the s p 500 has a beta of one and coinbase has a 2.7 beta which means it's more volatile and that means over the history of the stock it is more volatile than the s p 500 right and that helps with the implied volatility and what implied volatility does for our yield max funds is makes it have a bigger premium for those options meaning that you're going to get a bigger dividend or distribution depending on the month and if we take a look at the coinbase stock over the past month it is down so we'll see their first payment you know if it's, if it's going to be big or small but i'm excited to see because the options premium that they received for this company is going to be massive because of the implied volatility and the beta and all that but you can see over the past year, Coinbase is actually up. It kind of recovered from their lowest, which was $33. It's a very volatile stock. You can see, you know, August 29th of 2022, um, which was almost a year ago today, it was at $65, shot up to 80, then went all the way down to 33, went all the way up to 100, and now back to $78 per share. So it's a very volatile stock. And you have to kind of have the guts. I, I don't want to like 
say what I wanted to say on this video, but you have to kind of have the guts to hold on to this Coney and see what your dividends are going to be because I think this is going to be kind of like a Tesla where their lowest payment was 44 and their highest was 106. You know, it's going to be very volatile, but if you hold it for the long term, you know, you'll be seeing some incredible dividends rolling in. And like I said, I'm just going to dabble with this one, put a thousand bucks in it, you know, on uh, Tuesday because the market's closed for Labor Day. But we'll see what my payments are going to be. I'm excited. I'm hoping way over $500 per month with my portfolio. But I do want to show you guys the prospectus and see really what's going on here. Because if you, you guys have to do your own research on these companies. I know I make videos and get you guys excited to invest in these. But I, in no way am I saying you should invest in these. You have to go into their prospectus. It's all on their website. And see, really, you have to read the fine print on these companies. Because it's all it's all not uh, sunshine and rainbows or flowers or whatever they they always say so we kind of went over what happened but this is the one for Coney you could see right here in the top left um, the funds monthly distribution the fund will seek to provide monthly income in the form of distributions aka dividends and would seek to generate such income in the following ways we kind of went over this with the picture but this is more um, for coinbase writing selling call option contracts on coin the income in the form of premiums, option premiums received from such option sales will primarily be influenced by the volatility of coin stock, like I was explaining before. All other factors, including interest rates, will also impact the level of income. So investing in short-term U.S. Treasury securities, the income generated by the securities will be influenced by the interest rate um, at the time of the investment. So the interest rates are high right now, so they're going to get a nice return on those treasuries, which also will help um, the monthly distribution. I think, say Coinbase stock and their option income isn't doing well that month, I think you'll just get like the minimum, which will be the income generated from those treasury securities. And we also, if you do read the fine print, we have to scroll a little bit. I don't, I don't know if it gets you a little dizzy or whatever. But let's scroll down and look at distribution risk because this is very important and the NAV erosion due to the distributions. I'm getting a lot of comments saying these funds are going down long term and this will help clear some of that up. So as a part of the fund's investment objective, the fund seeks to provide current monthly income, right? There's no assurance that the fund will make a distribution any given month. Like we said, you know, it's very there's risk to it there's ups and downs if the fund does make distributions the amounts of such distributions will likely vary greatly from one distribution to the next like we saw in tesla went from 44 cents to 106 on any given month right additionally the monthly distributions if any may consist of return of capital which would decrease the fund's net asset value trading price over time so as a result the investor may suffer significant losses to their investment, which would be NAV erosion. So the NAV will drop by the amount of the distribution on the related ex-dividend date. So say Coney pays $0.50 cents for their distribution. The NAV will go down by $0.50. Cents. And as a result, an investor may su suffer significant losses to their investment if the price doesn't stay stable or go up. So over time these funds can go down and that's why on this channel we've kind of been preaching to diversify and use your distributions wisely you can keep reinvesting and have an incredible amount of shares of these companies or in these ETFs where say you had 500 to start and then you keep dripping your thing your distributions to that lower price that it keeps you know going down and then say you have a thousand shares at a much lower cost, but the you're still down um, overall on your investment. But you can double your shares over about an 18 month period. The fund managers were saying, depending on you know the ETF. So you could also you could keep dripping your position to have more shares of that and create more additional income. But what I'm personally going to do with these is use my capital right the cash that I've earned from my job and my businesses 
I'm going to put that into the yield max ETFs. Then I'm going to take the fund distributions that I get every single month, you know, which is going to be September 18th. And I'm going to put that into more of a safer covered call, something like JEPI or SPYI. So that's basically my strategy. Like I said, not giving financial advice, but that's what I'm doing. And that's what we're going to do from the future. Because after reading these prospectuses, you kind of get an idea of what's the future going to be like for these. Yes, they can stay stable. Like I said in previous videos, you know, I think APLY, Exxon Mobil, ETF, um, that yield max offers are going to be more stable than some of the others like Coney and Tesla, but these ones provide the higher yields. So what do you guys think? Let me know if you guys are buying Coinbase um, option income strategy by yield max Coney. And are you excited for September? Because I know I am, you know, let's make incredible amounts of money, reinvest those dividends into JEPI and create a nice big juicy dividend portfolio. You know, a lot of people are saying also, so I said this a few times in my other videos as well, you know, I'm 25 years old, right? And people are saying y your investment strategy is not good for a 25 year old. But I think these are such, you know, nice amount of risk to reward that dividend investing is paying off at a younger age because they're making these more attractive funds, covered call ETFs. And getting a 12 to 15% return on something like JEPI or JEPQ is still great. And I do have massive amounts in um, growth funds and stuff like that. So I am diversified. I know I just show you guys my yield max stuff, but I have an income property from Airbnb and I have my own condo and everything like that. So I'm making plenty of diversified investments. I'm just having fun with this, making content you know, really enjoying building the community for these yield max funds and showing people that there's other ways to invest. You just have to be smart about it. And you can make an incredible amount of money doing this, but you can also lose an incredible amount of money. You just have to play it correctly, be smart, and even do some of these synthetic covered calls on your own. You know, you could you could do put credit spreads, call credit spreads on your Robinhood portfolio, level three options trading. And just, just have fun with it because this is investing. Investing should be fun. You know, younger people, I feel like with YouTube and Robinhood, have gotten into investing earlier on and they see the wealth creation. Because if you drive around a nice neighborhood, none of these people are working 9 to 5. You know, they could be, but the most of their money is made either from generational wealth with the stock market or selling businesses or doing stuff like that, or they're getting huge amount of stock packages from their employer. The The money is made in the market. I mean, you're not going to work nine to five and have a, a $5 million house. That's just not how it works in the U.S. You have to understand the tax codes. You have to understand business. You have to understand the stock market, stuff like that. So if you want to create generational wealth for your family and increase your income take a look at some of these alternate investments you know you could you a lot of people on youtube say you could become a millionaire in 35 years you know retire at 65 with 3 million i personally do not want to do that i want to have a million dollars by the age of 30 and then the first million is the hardest and then you just continue to go up from there so Thank you guys for watching. I like talking to you guys at the end of the video because I know it's the real viewers that are watching till the end, the ones who are, you know, engaging the most and really enjoying the content. So thank you guys for all the support recently, almost at a thousand subscribers. Then I will create another income stream with this YouTube channel just to add to my other five or six that I have. So millionaires have like six to seven income streams. So we're getting close, baby. Come on. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.